What do you mean you don't think I'm prepared for the audition, Joe? I've been going over these lines for like three weeks. Yeah, take it easy, Mark. All I'm saying is that we're anxious. I mean, yeah, we've done a few bit roles before, but this is network drama. Well, I was in that grocery store commercial last year. It can't be that much different. I need to cry, Mark. Joe, you have a meeting with this week. Uh, sir, go ahead. Is that your boss? Yeah, yeah, Mom, I'm all pulling through after work and, and get that long stuff for me. Man, I gotta go. I'm gonna go. I'll be right back. Joe, this is very serious, Joe! Okay, I liked her. Bianca was good. I love Bianca. Love? I, I thought she was really good. I mean, you know, I, all right, yeah. listen, but we can go that way because we got more to see. Who's next? Next up, we have Kiki Wilson. Okay, we're here. All right. Kiki Wilson? Hi, Kiki. Hi. First of all, I just like to say thank you for this opportunity. I'm very excited to be a part of this production. If I get the part that is, you know what I mean, right? Let's just get on with the audition, shall we? Yes, of course. Sorry. Kiki Wilson, correct? Yes, sir. I'm going to be doing the part of Jessica. Daniel, we're through. I can't do this song and dance with you every time you break up with Carol. I won't be that other woman. Wait a minute, Jessica, you never loved me, just say it. Maybe I did love you, Daniel, but you'll never know. You're too caught up in your own problems to give a damn about the people you're hurting. If you ever try and visit me at the restaurant again, I'll make sure Carol knows everything about what happened. And I mean everything. And see. All right, that was quite a lively performance. Uh, we'll be in touch. Thank you so much. I tried really hard. I was a little nervous. Sorry if it was obvious or anything. I was trying to hide it. We'll be you in touch, Kiki. I'm sorry, it's just a nurse. I've been practicing so long for this audition. Okay. Like, That'll be all, Kiki. Next. Thank you. Bianca, then yeah, if we yeah, need to, we go Kiki. Yeah, let's leave. Okay, okay Bianca. <laughs> Good. Come on, woman. Can you watch where you're going? I think that's yours. Okay. Look, I've got to go. Mark, I'm right there. audition. Oh. <gasps> Okay, it's time for the last audition of the day. I'm in a hurry, so uh, let's make this quick. Yeah, you and everybody else around here. What was that? Oh, nothing, sir. Um, I will be auditioning for Daniel. Admit, Jessica, all this time, you never loved me, did you? Maybe I did love you, Daniel. You hurt me. I'm telling Carol. Well, the truth is... The truth is... The truth is... I know you were pregnant. And I know your sister's baby is really ours. I was in Iraq. I was serving our country and you played me. You know what? I'm out of here. That was a surprisingly good performance, Mark. I liked it. Can you, uh, Tell us why you decided to veer off script. I bumped into somebody and I guess we mixed up scripts. 
my script reads egg, cheese, and milk. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Congratulations, sir. You got the part. Are, are you serious? This is happening? I'm <laughs> serious as cancer, Mark. Oh, excuse me? <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, oh, but the part about you getting the role, that, that was not a joke. Congrats. Thank you. No, thank you again. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, too, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I was born to play Daniel. I'm gonna nail my audition. Really? I don't think so. <laughs> I bet my life savings on it. You must be broke. Hey, Joe. You know, you won't believe what just happened. <laughs> Can't believe this happened. What? That work. Sitting in the same bar in the same town on the same night every week, talking about the same crap. No, I mean, I can't believe we had to fire somebody two weeks into the production. It's not professional. <laughs> That's the industry. Like I was telling Dave, it happens. Everybody's expendable. Actors come and go all the time. Script supervisors even come and go. Directors come, all of us. What I'm trying to say is, it's just unexpected losing one of our lead actors this early. Something to think about. Yeah. Better if it don't happen. But it did. We'll get by it and we'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I trust you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and I use that term loosely, I have an important announcement to make. Here, come on in. Believe me, girl, polka dots are so out this year. Besides, have I ever steered you wrong? <laughs> Don't you dare bring up baby. Miss Warner, could we give our guests some courtesy? Of course, but what do you mean, guess? Oh my God, that is not Kevin Rogers. What is Kevin Rogers doing here? Who is Kevin Rogers? He's only the biggest reality star to ever come out of Raleigh. And let me say, Mr. Rogers, that I am a huge fan of yours. Oh, thank you. Kevin will be joining us for the first season of The Drama Never Stops in an effort to increase our chances for network television. Of course, it goes without saying that we can't have too large of a cast, so we'll be firing one of you. It is a pleasure to be working with all of you, except uh, one of you, that is. Now, let's get ready to make some movie magic. We're making a television series, Mr. Rogers. No matter, Greg, I will play my role so expertly the critics will say I belong on the silver screen. Of course you will. Now, I think the cast would like to give Kevin a warm welcome. Don't you, cast? I mean, who does this guy Kevin Rogers think he is? Coming in here taking my part. I'm supposed to be Daniel. I'm supposed to be the star. Maybe he's not even taking your part, Mark. I mean, you're getting all worked up over nothing like you usually do. <laughs> you're probably safe. Oh, oh, probably, Joe. Mm -hmm. Probably. What if I'm right? Then you'll be right back where you were last week, Mark. Last week, I was landing the role of my life. Yeah. This week, I'm losing the role of my life. Do I have it or don't I, Joe? Do I have it or don't I? I mean, please tell me, because seriously, seriously, I can't take this shit. I just don't want to lose my job, you know? I'm sure it's 
Yes. Fabulous. Look, girl, if you want to get your job in Hollywood, I suggest you try all the fabulous hairstyles like J-Lo or Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. All right, man. I'll be another six bucks. Do you know how my day was? They bring this guy, Mark, to play a part that I was born to play. I mean, and then, then they bring this guy named Kevin in to take my spot. I think they're trying to drop me from the show entirely, and I think it's a, con a conspiracy. Look, man, I hear you with all that, but it's gonna be another six bucks for a drink. I mean, I mean, come on, come on. Kevin Rogers, he's one of the greatest reality stars. And, I mean, I watch him all the time, every night. If I'm not doing something, I'm right there, tuning in. But, he can't have my job. And if he's gunning for my job, do you know what that means? The gloves are coming off, and I'm going to take the position I deserve. But look, man, that's all well and good, but right now, I deserve six bucks that you owe me for that drink, so you need to come up with it. Uh... Serious right now, man. This is a receipt from a grocery store, an expired coupon, and some change. Don't make me get the door guy, man. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, I got something, I, I think. Uh, do you know who I am? I am the greatest actor ever. My name is, uh, Eric Clark, and, uh, I will be a star, okay? job I ever had before I even get to do it. For real, man, you're overreacting. I mean, you don't even know if you got cut yet. This is show business, Joe. You can never overreact. Shh. Besides, I'm not getting cut. See, that spirit, that's how you get keep that up there. I'm not getting cut because I have a plan. I don't like where this is going. For you to be so easy, all I have to do is call 
call up the other cast members, and everything will be fun. Well, no, 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 where are you going? I'm late for work. You don't, you don't want to hear the plan? Nope, gotta go, bye. Get up the house, looks like crap. She couldn't make it. I'll call her in later. Well, <laughs> What's the big emergency? I was getting the best massage of my life. Sit down. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's Justine? She's getting her nails done. Jeez. No. Oh, no. Okay, all right. Guys, I've been up all night thinking. I've been up all night thinking about this, okay? We can tell. No, 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 seriously, listen. Okay, I have worked entirely too hard to get this part, to have it be taken away by Mr. Rogers. I'm just as upset as you are, but what can we do? Get him fired! That's the best you can come up with, and you stayed up all night? Oh, oh, what was the reason Justine got fired from her last job? For being a diva. Let's make Kevin a diva. Hey, hey, Kevin just texted me, and he asked if rehearsal was at six. Why did he ask me that? He should know it's a five. Because I told him it was at six. Look, text him back, yes. All right, okay. guys, think about things between now and five o'clock, all right? This is gonna be good. So what do you think? How can we make Kevin a diva? Well, think Justine would have any ideas? All right, folks, let's get started. Has anybody seen Kevin? Uh, good looking, kind of tall, always telling terrible jokes. That guy? Nope, haven't seen him. All right, well let's do scenes one and two while we wait for him. You're late, Mr. Rogers. Wow, I'm oh, sure our sticklers. Why not a little? Mr. Rogers, uh, come with me so we can talk a little more about this production. Okay. All right, all right, all right, let's get going. All right, that's a uh, good breaking point. Hey, Dave. I'm starving. Yeah. Okay, who wants pizza? Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes. What happened to catering? Really? <laughs> who wants what? Uh, I can eat anything. Yeah, anything great. Oh, uh, can someone ask Kevin what he likes? Uh, you, you know what? I'll do it. Thank you. Thank you. Aubrey, I like what you did with that last line. That works. Hey, Kev, they're going to go get pizza later. Just wanted to know if you wanted anything. Pepperoni's fine. All right. So, he said he wants pepperoni pizza, but each slice must have seven pepperonis. And uh, he said something about anchovies. He liked them, but he don't like them. You know, somehow make that work. Uh, uh, hmm. No sauce, light on the peppers, no butter. Are you serious? <laughs> really? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> what a pain that guy is, right? <laughs>
Thanks. I owe you. It's already been paid for. Well, that was terrible. <laughs> oh, you can tell it. Them kids came back worth a damn. Who knew Kevin Rogers was going to be such high maintenance? Oh, he's definitely got to go. Hey, by the way, you like massages? Yeah. Why? Good. You're just paying for Kevin's. <laughs> Mother. be here again doing this. Tell me about it. But what other option do we have? Shut down the production? Well, I don't like that option. But we're going to have to find somebody by 2 o'clock. All right. What about this guy? <sighs> Too tall. All right. How about him? Yeah, too fat. All right. What about him? Oh, my God! No. No. What? No. 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 I don't know that. Oh. I know somebody. Huh? I got it. <laughs> I got it. There's a guy I work with. Huh? Oh, yeah. Man. No, he's not on the phone anymore, and I'm going to have to find it. But I can find it. Hello? Hey, Yaka? Who? Mark, you from the show? Oh, hey. What are you and Arby doing before rehearsal? Um, I hadn't planned on doing anything. I was just going to lay around. I'm not sure what Aubrey's doing now. Why do you... Well, I called Joe to see if he wanted to have lunch, but he's got some big meeting or something he's excited about. You know, go figure. He's excited about some meeting and I show what's going down. Call Aubrey. Uh, Y'all meet me at Neomon's in about an hour. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll call her. We'll see you there. All right, see you. Okay, bye. Look at us. They would be crazy to cut us. Right, of course. They would be crazy to cut us. Do you think Marshall and I are going to be taking the But I don't know. I mean, did you see how mad the director got when Kevin was late? I know, right? I gotta admit, it was pretty good when Matt ordered that piece. Charging their credit card for Kevin's massage? I know, right? Only I could have thought of charging a massage like <laughs> credit card. If only I could have seen their faces. Priceless. <laughs> Another thing, okay, I don't know how true this is, but my friend knows someone who used to date the guy's sister who is cousins with the producer's son, and he said they were looking all morning for a replacement. Are you serious? That would be great. Great? One no. of us would still be getting cut. You really think that? I mean, if they were going to cut us for Kevin, they would certainly cut us for someone else. That's freaking great. That means my job is on the line once again. What the hell do we do now, Mark? I guess. I mean, we got one person fired. 
wouldn't be nothing to make it happen again, right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs>